Today I'm in Hove, I'm at Dugard, I'm with Eric Dugard, the Managing Director, talking about automation and the impact that this uh, is having on their customers and a solution here we have, Eric, which is really demonstrating what you can do with automation, isn't it? Can you tell us maybe very simply what we've got here? This is the RoboJob uh, 12 kilo loading system applied to a lathe in this case, but we can use it on machining centres as well. Th this is, uh, since the, the pandemic and really before that, automation has played a big part in what you offer here at Dugard. Are you finding a lot of your customers are kind of going down this path now, demanding this unmanned solution? Yeah, I would say you're right. Over the last year or two, we've seen that uh, trend is increasing a lot now with customers. And with the robo job itself, why would you select this one to have here then as something to demonstrate? Well, we've done it in conjunction with Hydrofeed. They're, you know, they're well known in the marketplace for bar feeds, but latterly moving into automation. Uh, they give great support and uh, we've known the company very, for a very long time. And what's great here, Eric, is it's working in conjunction with your Schmeck machine, which is very well known for uh, reliability and rigidity, isn't it? We're seeing it here with a twin spindle, so the machine's doing both operations, but you could actually have a single spindle machine and turn the part over, couldn't you? Well, that's the point. I think with the robot, you can have the turnover option, which is very useful, so you get a completely finished part off the machine and then stack ready to, to take away. Now, in addition to this as well, you do offer your cobots from Hanwha, don't yeah. you? What are the, some of the differences and where you would offer this and maybe that? I think uh, the, the cobot is a more cost-effective solution, but it's a lot more complicated because you've got to worry about how you present the part, remove it, and so on, and grip it, of course. Mm. Whereas RoboJob seem to have taken all that into account. It's a one-stop shop. Just literally attach the unit, interface it and it's ready to go. And the great thing is here, we've got no guarding around it, but what we've got on the floor means as we move into these areas, it will slow down and then eventually stop as well, won't it? So there's no health and safety issues. No, as you can see, the machine is very open. So if you need to use it as a regular lathe, you can just turn the robot off and then use it by manually loading it. It's actually in many ways um, negated the need for a cobot because, because as you say, with the sensors, that can, a normal robot can be used. Uh, and very easy to program as well. I've seen that on a yeah. few occasions. Um, I just do want to touch on the SMEC machines because I know you do sell a lot of them. This is one of your, well, I'd say your, your bread and butter machines, isn't yeah. it? But it's very varied, the amount of models that you can you can have. Yeah, well, they do a huge range down to a, from a six inch machine up to 24 inch chuck, five meter bed length. So mm. it's, it's very, very large, but they're all box way construction, so very strong mm. and uh, very good quality. And having visited some of your customers, they love this new touchscreen control as well. Yeah, I mean, Siemens. we've got both uh, Fanac and, of course, now the Siemens 15-inch uh, touchscreen, which is very, very user-friendly. Great stuff. Okay. All of this yeah. here to see at their headquarters here in Hove. Uh, even if you're not interested in automation, you should explore it because it really can give you that unmanned run uh, and make you more productive.